Hey, welcome back everyone. We are out here on the weather deck. I am here with chiropractor Chris Koziarski. That's a tongue twister there. And as many folks are out shoveling all day today, probably yesterday too, there's actually a proper way to shovel and you have that for us. Yes, ma'am. So first of all, we want to make sure as we get our butts out of bed at least an hour early. Because oh, wow. when we sleep, our discs fill uh, extra with fluid. So it takes about an hour for the excess fluid to dissipate back down. So we're going to be more stiff in the morning, more likely to hurt our backs. Okay? So we we'll to make sure we get our butt out of bed first. Secondly, we want to make sure we wear nice warm clothing. We want to layer up. Because when our joints are nice and warm, we have fresh blood flow to that tissue. It keeps us moving, which is good. And then we want to make sure that we have proper boots. In case we remember, underneath all that snow is ice, we could fall. And now we want to find a shovel that fits us, which allows us to keep our back straight during the uh, shoveling process. Okay. Because once we flex forward, we start to put strain on our back. That's when we hurt ourselves. And then we want to push snow out of the way if we can first. Because that allows the for... loose stuff. Yeah, it allows for spine sparing. So we can do that by going out more often during the snowfall when it's lighter and fluffier rather than letting it wait till the next day and it's nice, hard, and dense and you hurt your back. And then lastly, if you can, we take... <clears throat> we want to bend with our knees, keep our back straight, Take smaller chunks and we want to lift with our legs. Wow, okay, I'm gonna try it and see if I'm doing it right. So get rid of the loose stuff. Yep. And then bend with the knees. Yep. <laughs> not the back. <laughs> maybe, maybe wear pants next time. Yeah, so and pants, freeze. not tight. Okay, <laughs> all right. I have been up for more than an hour, so we've got that checked off. So, Chris, what about for folks who maybe already shoveled the wrong way and they're hurting this morning? Do you have advice for them? Uh, seek a medical professional. You mm -hmm. never know what's going on. Is it a disc issue? Is it a muscle issue? Or, hey, do we have underlying osteoarthritis? And more importantly, in the 40s and 50s, we want to make sure, hey, is our heart healthy enough? More than 100 people die each year shoveling snow because, hey, we shovel to exhaustion or our heart's just not quite healthy enough for that. So we contact our family doctor or another medical professional for that. Wow. So is this something you've seen in years past? I mean, we live in Erie. We were used to the snow that you've seen someone come in with maybe a back problem mm -hmm. and you're like, you got that from shoveling. Absolutely. It's always the next day. It's like, hey, I blew my back out shoveling snow. It's like, hey, welcome to Erie, people. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. So any, any other tips? So we have... Wake up an hour early. Yes, ma'am. Um, what about stretching? Any good techniques they could do at home? Everybody's a little bit different. Like your body, your body will tell you what's proper for you. But yeah, take breaks, stay hydrated, eat a well-balanced diet, stuff that doctors tell you. You know. Gotcha. And uh, just hey, if you're if you're gonna do it once a year, you know your body's not to be prepared for it. So you want to make sure you stay healthy and exercise all year long, so you are prepared for the cellular. Great advice. Now, Chris, um, if folks do need some help from you, where can they find you? Eighth and Green Garden at Kozyars Chiropractic. Awesome. What time you open? In about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So you are early for work. All right, Chris. Well, thanks so much for waking up early and giving us some great shoveling tips. And we'll be back right after this break.